Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Well, we have a little bit of a life after lockup update today. Um, Lacey recently sat down with Screen Rant and gave exclusive details on what led to John's arrest. I know there has been a lot of speculation with Lacey's dad telling John on the show that Lacey called the cops on him. It was kind of John's storyline for this season of Life After Lockup. Like, did she call the cops on me? Is she the reason why I went back to jail? And it was really unclear what exactly transpired that night because from what we heard on the show, it was they got into some sort of argument. This was when Lacey had left Shane and was hooking up with John and that they had some sort of argument and she ended up calling the police. Well, that sounded really scummy, especially because he has like a criminal history. We knew he would go back to jail for a pretty significant period of time, like months and months, not just like a couple days or something. So it seemed really sketchy. Well, she shed some light on what exactly transpired. Additionally, she does seem to confirm that they will be back for the next season of Life After Lockup, which there's, it was, they were so, so boring. There just wasn't a lot because of the pandemic. Um, it was really just them at home, her and Shane. Um, then we had John like bouncing around trying to figure out um, if Lacey called the cops on him that night. And then he went on a date and wrote her a letter. So I don't know what um, is really going to be content for them for next season. I guess having four kids, um, all very young kids, is that'll be... <laughs> Uh, that'll be interesting, but let's get into what she had to say about the night John got arrested. So this was printed, I think, on April 2nd, and it takes place, though, the interview takes place while Lacey is still pregnant. So this interview took place a while ago. They just printed it a couple days ago. So they asked her, what can you say? And, um... The interview goes uh, like it, life during the pandemic, having another baby with Shane, if they're going to have more kids. And so I, I will link the article so you can read more about that. But we're just going to focus on what she had to say about the night John got arrested. So they ask her, what can you say about the situation that led to you calling the cops on him? Were you really the one that called the cops? Because that's what he's portrayed on the show this season. Lacey says, no, I did not call the cops on him. He and I went out. He came and picked me up from the house. Me and Shane, we were arguing and stuff. So that also is a little weird because on the show, they portray this as a period of time where she and Shane were separated. So me and Shane were arguing and stuff. And I told him, I'm going to leave. John picked me up from the house. We went out. We had a great time. We were drinking. This was his one night out from his recovery house, which he probably shouldn't have been drinking, but he was already drinking anyway. So I was like, whatever, let's just drink. We went to a couple of different strip clubs. The last club we went to was about to close and he wanted to go get heroin. I was like, I'm not doing that. I'm not going with you so you can go do that. And I was telling him, you don't need to drink and drive. Let's just go get a hotel room and I'll stay with you. But he was already in that tunnel vision mindset and that's what he wanted to do. I left and I got an Uber home. Hours went by and he decided he's going to come by the house. He knew Shane was here and all of that, but he was just really, 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 really fucked up. He was drinking and driving. I live on a busy street. The cops there's cops up and down the street all the time and he just made a bad decision. He called me from jail the next day and he was like, what happened last night? He didn't remember anything. He can't just keep blaming me or anyone for his actions. In recovery, you have to own up and just be like, you know, this is what I did. I messed up, but it is what it is. I hope he learned his lesson and doesn't go back. If you guys remember from when Lacey and Shane and John were on 
the their original season of Love After Lockup, they were so explosive. This was obviously before Lacey ultimately chose Shane. She was still deciding between John and Shane. Um, there were so many drunk altercations. There was one with Shane in the front lawn of her house. Then there was one with John. Um, or what? No, it was Shane again at that restaurant where she ends up slapping him. Um, there was one with John at the beach with her dad where she calls him a bitch and she starts hitting him. And we all were like, dude, like Lacey is bad news. She's a bad influence on John. Um, and I won't, I won't even say a bad influence. I'll just say she's a toxic person for someone who's a recovering addict to be around because if he's one day out of his recovery house and then you... And let's say he was drinking prior to you hanging out with him, but then you continue to drink with him when you know he's a recovering addict and the reasons he was in prison before all stemmed from addiction. <laughs> that is, you just said, oh, fuck it. <laughs> like you're, I don't know. That just, that is really a shitty thing for her to do. I mean, she's not his parent. She He is responsible for his own decisions, but you could help make things easier on someone by not drinking around them, not getting into that like party lifestyle or having that like a party night where it's just like anything goes, you know, you're going to strip clubs and now like it's the end of the night, you've been drinking all day and now he wants to get heroin and you're shocked by that when that seems to be like what he has done for in the past i i don't know if if i really believe that sh she didn't call the cops on him but that's what she said and if he was drinking and driving like he, he that's that's awful um and he has no one to blame but himself um i just then it would be total production fraud if he really didn't know what why he or how he ended up back in prison the charge would have been driving under the influence so um maybe he thought like Lacey tipped them off or something I was always under the impression that there was like a, a domestic disturbance or something that occurred and that led to his arrest um but clearly it was more in um alcohol related so I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Um, they also asked her, we're gearing up for a new season and it looks like you're in a really good place. You're expecting a child together. We already know she had her baby, super cute um, little girl named Summer. Your kids are happy with Shane, but the show is centered around drama. Can we expect any more drama for you or John or Shane in the new season? Lacey answers, girl, my first name is drama. I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up. I'm letting you know. I'm 100% on the show from trying to figure out if John is my kid's father to literally everything. I wish my life sometimes wasn't so dramatic and I didn't have, have so much stuff going on. If there was cameras rolling 24-7, I'd have my own TV show. It's ridiculous. So yeah, you can expect a lot of drama. From what I suspect is going to happen, I don't think, because um, she does mention earlier in the article that she does not have any contact with Shane, or I'm sorry, with John. It's so hard because she's like Shane and Chan and the way she pronounces their names. But she said that she has not spoken to John, so I don't expect to see that their storylines will overlap at all anymore. I think it's probably, I think they're still going to feature John probably with dating and recovery and that route of his life. And then with Shane, I don't know. Shane's kind of boring. <laughs> um, I don't, like he seems like he's actually a decent dad. The kids seem to really have affection towards him. So that's nice to see. Um, and now that, now that they're married, like what drama is going to befall them? It seems like they got along decently well during quarantine, which would be, which was a huge test on everyone's relationships and everyone's sanity during that time. So if she got through that pregnant with three kids that she had to homeschool, 
I think they're gonna be okay. Anyways, you guys, let me know what you think about these details. Um, do you buy this story that this is how it really happened or do you still think that she is the person that either called police or tipped someone off or something? Do you, Are you looking forward to seeing her and Shane and John on the next season of Life After Lockup? I personally would like to see them start to phase out Andrea Lamar, um, Brittany and Marcelino, although I love them. Their storyline was, was incredibly sad and dark uh, dealing with Brittany's mother, um, as well as like Lacey and John and Shane. I would really like to see, this is just me personally, Life After Lockup be Life After Lockup for the previous season of love after lockup so couples that are current and even if they're not together like we could see you know the p people dating again and what have you like I don't know that's just personally what I would like to see some of these couples were on like the original season of love after lockup and I, I think it's just getting kind of repetitive and a little bit boring. Someone once commented, though, like, does everyone have to be a trash bag in order for us to watch a show? And no, that's true. I think that's why we appreciated, like, what we appreciate watching Britney because she is a success story and it's really admirable how she has grown a family and turned her life around and how she's trying to help her mom. Um, but at the same time, what else is there to film? I, I don't know. Maybe she'll become like a motivational speaker. I think she'd be really good at that. So anyways, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Follow me on Instagram and bleh, Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.